All right, so today let's take a look at the Goku Vintage Drive. The Vintage Drive is an American style preamp pedal, and with preamp pedals, they are very multi purpose style pedals. So you can use them as a straight up distortion pedal, overdrive, or boost pedal. You can use it as a preamp stage, so you can go right into the front of an amplifier or you can also go direct so if you wanted to move this into a direct box and then put it into your mixing console or you can put it into your uh, your IO box for uh, recording onto a laptop and then one of the other ways that you can also do it is by putting it into the return jack of your amplifier. Now be careful with that. If you were to do it that way, what I strongly advise and I really recommend is you take the volume all the way down when you're doing that because to go right into the return jack of your amplifier in your effects loop, there's going to be no volume control. So it's all going to be done by here. So if you do that and you have it even somewhere around nine o'clock it's going to get real loud real fast so make sure the amps on bypass and then plug it in and then with the uh, with the volume at zero and then slowly bring it up so that you have that control or else you're going to bust some eardrums of your own and probably those people around you so let's plug this guy in and let's check it out All right, everyone, so let's take a look at the Goku Vintage Drive now. So uh, just going to tell you a little bit about the signal path. It's pretty simple today. I'm just going through the uh, Goku Vintage Drive, then into my uh, direct box, and then right into the quad capture. Uh, no other coloration, nothing. We're going direct. So without any further ado, let's uh, take a quick look at the, at the Vintage Drive. So we've got six knobs in total. The top three knobs are a uh, three-band EQ, so you've got your low, mid, and high. And then you've got your volume and drive to the bottom on the uh, left and right. And then the voicing uh, in the middle at the bottom there, which is sort of like a sweepable EQ, if you will. It boosts and drops different frequencies and allows the EQ to react a little differently up on the top. So without any further ado, let's uh, just do the clean tone here. And then we'll put in the vintage drive. Okay, and I'm going to bring the volume up a little bit. Cool. So um, one thing that I will mention is the volume and the drives, they work very, they work very much uh, together. You want to make sure that you have some drive sitting in the mix with this pedal in order for the volume to really shine. And so you want to, I, for the most part, always keep the volume up high and I just kind of monkey with the drive on this, uh, on this uh, pedal here. <laughs> Okay, and then let's move the voicing around a little bit because that's really the one of the most unique features to these kinds of preamps. Okay, cool. So in there, we've got a little bit more of a, a punchy bottom end. Almost sort of like a telly. And I'm still on my bridge pickup here, so... It's actually got a really nice... It, it makes a... Um, Kind of makes a thin bridge pickup sound a little bit more full. Cool. So let's bring the uh, let's bring the drive back up to twelve o'clock, or sorry, the voicing up to twelve o'clock. 
So you can hear quite a difference in there. Let's uh, try it at nine there. <laughs> So, again, back at 12. All right, I'm going to try the roll off here with the uh, front pickup and bringing the volume down a bit. So we're getting a very nice full fat sound here. And just bringing the volume up slightly. So you can really hear the bass coming in now. So let's bring the bass down a little bit. And bring it right down. Let's hear what that sounds like. Cool. So let's keep going. So just bring the EQs back up to the EQs are around two. All right. So let's keep going with the voicing. Again, very interesting, interesting um, setting there. So moving it over to three o'clock. <laughs> So getting a little bit more grit here. Let's take the voicing all the way up as far as we can go. Not quite, uh, well, about five o'clock. Okay, so. So it's starting to sound a little more modern here, a little less vintage. I'm gonna move the drive up a bit here. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's crank it all the way up. Sure, why not? We're definitely getting into more of a modern tone here now. Cool, I'm gonna play with that then. So let's move the, uh, let's move the lows all the way up. And let's cut some of the mids and some of the highs there. Well, that was definitely unexpected, so... That's pretty cool. So even though it says vintage, you could actually probably get a little bit more modern tone out of it if you wanted to tweak it around a little bit. So that was the the um, the voicing in the drive completely cranked. That's pretty amazing. Very versatile. All right, so let's uh, let's take the drive back down. Let's clean it up a little bit. Base. 
treble where it is. Bring the mids up just a bit. Okay, cool. So one of the other things that we can do with uh, with these preamp pedals is to use it more of a more like a generic clean tone. And what a lot of folks will do is they will take that clean tone and then they'll stack their drives on top of it. So they'll have like basically a, a, a clean a clean vintage style sound and then they'll throw like a tube screamer on there or a, a crunch pedal or something like that so what I did was I dug out an old crunch pedal that I had sitting in my drawer for a while and um, I'm gonna put it just in front and hear what that sounds like so just the pedal by itself is kind of thin I just throw it on here so I mean it might be workable but let's put it in front of the uh, the the vintage drive. So now what you've got is you've got the ability to tweak it and give it a little bit more tone. So So again, without it, okay, and then in with it, so let's, we can even boost up, uh, give it even more crunchy, if we want to cut the mids down, we now can do that, or if we want to bring them right up and give it a little bit more presence. So that gives you a lot of options. So by being able to have the vintage drive as its own kind of like a, the front end of an amp, if you will, which really is what a preamp is, then you can choose different pedals, which may on their own not sound very good, but they will definitely sound even better when you match them up with the vintage drive. So it's going to bring a lot of life back into some of the pedals that you wouldn't have normally used, which is awesome. That means you get not only a return on investment on the vintage drive, but now all of a sudden all those pedals that you were like, yeah, they're okay, but uh, now all of a sudden you can actually include them into your board, which is kind of nice considering we all spend a little too much money on our, on our pedals, maybe. Okay, so that is the Goku Vintage Drive. I hope you liked it, and we'll do a quick wrap-up, and I'll see you real soon. Bye. All right, so that was the Vintage Drive by Goku. Again, another great pedal by Goku and another great idea using preamps to get that American vintage style sound. Um, very versatile, right out of the bat, right out of the, bah, very versatile, right out of the box. The, um, the voice setting really gave you some nice punchy telly kind of tone, all the way up to a, uh, a more modern um, shred tone, if you will, a modern metal or rock tone. So, and that was all on its own. And what we also did was we paired it up with a, uh, a crunch pedal that I had and got a very thin sounding pedal to sound very full and fat. And that's probably one of the best ways to describe this pedal is if you need to add some fatness to your tone, I really suggest that you go and try this guy out. So that's the Vintage Drive by Goku. You can find more information at gokuaudio.com. And as always, hit that like button and subscribe. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye.